When creating an A portfolio, you now have two options, the classic A portfolio, which you may be familiar with, or the new Digication. The new Digication provides an array of new customization features. It also makes adding content to your A portfolio easier than ever. To begin, click the Create button on your homepage. You will see the new Digication intro pop up. After you have watched the intro, click Skip Intro to go to the next page. Next, you will be prompted to choose the Classic or the New Digication. Click the Use New button. You should give your A portfolio a unique name, as you can have numerous portfolios. Next, click Create. This is the new Digication. You can see there are some sections, text, and prompts already generated for you. To add content, click the blue Add button here. If you would like to add text, click the Rich Text icon. Type your text here. To edit the text, click the Edit icon here. You can edit the fonts to a degree by highlighting. This will bring up a prompt to designate text as a header or paragraph. You can also bold, italicize, or underline text. You can add bullets or numbered lists here. You can add a link by clicking the link button and then typing or pasting the URL here. To edit the font, font color, and background, Click on the design icon here. Here you will see your design options. To begin, click on the customization icon. Under the customization style heading, you can change the font, font size, color, and alignment. You can also change the color of the links using this box here. Under the background heading, you can change the padding around the text, background color of the text, and opacity. You can also choose a photo rather than a colored box behind your text. To get rid of a photo, click the X here. To change the size of your text box, click and drag this arrow to your desired size. To move the position of your text on the page, click the Move icon. This will allow you to drag and drop text where you would like. Photos can be added in a variety of ways depending on where your photo is stored. First, click the blue button here. You can choose to upload a file, do a web search for an image, upload from your Google Drive, or from your Google Photos. If you would like to take a photo of yourself, you can choose Take a Photo. If you have already uploaded a photo, you can search for it in Recent Uploads. You can also drag a photo from your desktop directly onto your A Portfolio page. To edit the design of the photo, click the Design icon here. You can choose Full Image or Best Fit. You can also choose the Image Opacity. As with the text box, click and drag to resize your photo. To add a Word document or PDF file, click the blue Add button and choose Upload File, Gmail if you have emailed a file to yourself, or Google Drive. You can also drag the file you would like to upload directly from your desktop to your page. To embed a video in your A portfolio, select the Embed option here. Once your video has come up, click Embed. If you would like to change the background of your page, click the Design button here. You can change the color of your content background here by selecting your color here. You can also change the opacity here to give it a layered look. Under the background heading, you can change the background to your whole page. 
Click the color box to change the color of your background here. Click Select Image if you have a photo you would like to set as your background. You can also add a background photo to your content area here. Changes are automatically saved in the new digication. However, you must publish your changes by clicking the Publish drop-down menu, then selecting Publish. To add or change your sections at the top of your page, click the white space next to your sections. To add, remove, edit, or organize sections, click on the Edit icon. To add a new page, click the Add New Page icon and give your page a title. You can rearrange the order of your pages by hovering over the menu icon and then dragging your page to its desired location. You can also drag the menu icon to the right to create subpages. When you are finished, click Save. To change the settings in your A portfolio, click the menu icon and select Settings. Your privacy settings should stay private to me. However, it's very important to make sure you have added permissions for your instructor to see your A portfolio for purposes of grading. To add your class, click Additional Permissions and type the name of your course here. Then click Save. To return to your A Portfolio homepage, click the Digication icon in the upper left corner of your page. If you have additional questions or to schedule a one to one consultation, please email us at aportfolio at appstate.edu.